Uh, time to get the show on the road. To introduce tonight's first HENAC Award for Professional Achievement Level 1, please welcome the Executive Director of the Missile Defense Agency, Mr. John H. James. As head of the Submarine and Surveillance Systems Test and Evaluation Branch at the Undersea Warfare Center in Newport, Rhode Island, Ms. Maria Diaz Masterson leads a team of scientists who provide expertise on technical issues. The center is the largest U.S. Navy command in the nation and one of the state's largest employers with more than 4,800 civilian employees and a budget approaching $1 billion. The Undersea Warfare Center is the Navy's full spectrum research, development, testing, and evaluation site for submarine warfare centers. Ms. Diaz Masterson has worked for nearly 10 years on combat systems and sonar spanning all classes of United States fast attack submarines and the Royal Australian Navy's Collins class submarines. Most recently, she has worked to improve sonar analysis infrastructure, utilizing new approaches for greater security. Her work includes several at sea cruises every year to provide insight for operating forces. She is also leading a full laboratory upgrade that covers facilities and information technology. Ms. D.S. Masterson also provides equal employment opportunity leadership as manager of the special emphasis program representing the Hispanic community. She contributes to the command's educational outreach program by visiting schools to increase student understanding through lectures and projects. Her efforts are based on a firm belief in the benefits of maintaining a diverse workforce. I am honored guest. I am happy to present an award for professional achievement level one to Maria Diaz Masterson. It is my absolute honor to be a recipient of this HENAC Award. Thank you to Great Minds in STEM for the invitation and for this recognition. I am grateful of my parents for inspiring me to pursue any goal I wanted to achieve in life. They were my base for growing up to be confident of my education and skills. So I was never afraid of math or science courses at school. Once in high school, my math teacher was essential to igniting my desire to continue my studies in the field of math. This resulted in me pursuing a career in computer engineering. Now, I hope to pass on the confidence others have instilled in me to the next generation of students and young professionals to embrace careers in STEM. For the future, it is our duty and as parents and mentors to break down the misconception that STEM topics are too difficult. This predisposition at an early age can get kids off the path of STEM careers. A strong background in math as a child would build the confidence for high school students to not be intimidated by it. STEM challenges are everyday challenges and should be framed and taught as such. Thank you. <laughs> 